Without volumes, user-installed applications can be captured in what's called a writable volume. And because writable volumes persist across sessions, user-installed applications can follow users as they connect to different desktops and OS versions. In this video, we'll start out as an administrator and create a writable volume. And then we'll act as an end user to test out installing an application and verifying that that application will follow us to a different desktop. To do this exercise, you need to have App Volumes 4 installed and configured so that Writable Volumes templates are available, as described in the section called Configuring App Volumes Manager for the first time. You'll also need a couple of Horizon desktop pools that a particular end user is entitled to. For instructions, see the section called Setting up the Endpoint Machines in the Evaluation Guide for App Volumes, and you'll need Horizon Client installed. In App Volumes Manager, go to the Inventory Writables tab and click Create. Enter the end user account you want to use and click Search. Select the account from the list of search results, scroll down, and from the Source Template list, select the UIA only one. If this list says something like, No Templates Found, you might have to go to the Configuration Storage tab and make sure that the correct path is set for the Writable Volume Storage location, and upload the templates to that location. Once the template is selected, be sure to select the checkbox called Delay Writable Volume Creation for Group OU Members until they log in, and click Create. In the Confirmation box, click Create. Back on the Writable Volumes tab, click the Writables tab to refresh the page, and you see the new volume in the list. Okay, now we can log in as that user. On the Client Endpoint, start Horizon Client. Select the server, enter end user credentials, and log in. First, I'll select the Windows Desktop Pool. The App Volume service is hard at work, hopefully attaching my Writable Volume. Go to the Start menu and go to Computer Management. Under Storage, select Disk Management. And see here I have Disk 1, which is CV Writable. Next, I'll open a browser so that I can download an application installer. I'll search for a Notepad++ installer. I'll download version 8.2.1 since I haven't used that version before in any of the videos. Download. Once that's done, I'll go to the Downloads folder and run the installer as an administrator. I'll just accept all the defaults and click Finish when it's done. Now, I don't want the update. Close out of the release notes. Now, if we go to the Add Remove Programs app, we can see that Notepad++ is installed. Select it and verify that it is the version we downloaded. Now, log out of this desktop. This is so that we can test that the writable volume will follow us to a different desktop. So back in Horizon Client, I'll select the pool that I conveniently named Second Desktop. Again, the App Volume service is doing its thing. And if we go to the Start menu and go to Add and Remove Programs, we can see that Notepad++ is installed. And click it to verify that it is version 8.2.1, which is the user installed version. And we can also go to Computer Management in the Start menu and select Disk Management. We'll see that our writable volume is indeed here on our second desktop. And if we log out, it will follow us wherever we want to go. For more app volumes and Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com.